Hey Wargamers, welcome back to the channel, Death From Above Wargaming. I'm Aaron. And I'm Kevin. We're back with some exciting... Clan on clan action. Yeah. Clan, clan pre-invasion. Clan pre-invasion. Maybe during early invasion. Early invasion. You know, yeah. still, still fueling the war effort on your side, I'm sure. So Kevin, what faction are you playing tonight? Clan Star Adder, my beloved homeworld. Mm. And they are beautiful, guys. You're going to check it out and see them in just a minute. Uh, and I am playing the Mighty Clan Wolf. Uh, and they are facing off... What is it, Sheridan? You know, the only undefeated clan. <laughs> undefeated. <laughs> in, in DFA history. <laughs> <laughs> and in all the books, I think, too. Yeah, that and, too. But... Until they... I don't know. It's then something right. happens. They go into exile, or part of them do. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway. We'll get there. <sighs> so, uh, we're on Sheridan. Yeah, we're on a uh, Adder homeworld. You're looking to smuggle some supplies for the invasion effort. Love it. In a ritualistic way. You know, a give, trial Give me all your drop ships. <laughs> and we are gladly accepting. We would love to try out our yeah. fancy new Kappa Galaxy first Adder Hunters. A top-of-the-line premier cluster, but for a second line galaxy. That means Kevin took all yeah. ones and twos in his list. Yeah, they are they are a well supplied <laughs> provisional galaxy, and they would be they would be happy to test their their new Omni Mechs. I love it, Clan Wolf. Yeah. Uh, well, we're gonna do some some things differently tonight. So there's no you know standard DFA mission. This is basically gonna be straight up fight. A straight up fight using the Zelbrian rules. Yeah. Uh, so we went into the the clan invasion box. Uh, there's the rule book. And there is a section describing um, how you might play Zelbringen. Yeah. Uh, so essentially, Kevin and I, as we do, uh, <laughs> we we adapted that a little bit. Uh, and here's how it's going to work. So, end of the movement phase, in initiative order. Yeah. We're going to declare our challenges. So if Kevin wins initiative, he'll declare a challenge. I'll declare a challenge. He'll declare right. Yeah. Because that's that's because we move in our initiative order as you're supposed to, but as we do attacks, just to keep it simple, we just do one whole side at a time. Right. So I think and it makes it easier to do it in the movement phase. I, I agree. Right. And in Alpha Strike, I believe <clears throat> it, you have to attack all at once, actually. So in Classic is, is where you would go back and forth and yeah. attack. So totally agree. Like, after the movement phase is where it makes the most sense. So that's, that's the first thing we're going to do. Of course, you know, we have the whole, you know, there's rules around you can decline a challenge if... You know, blah blah blah, but that's typically only when you're playing against Inner Sphere and they're like trying to do some some you know, trick, trying little, to cheese you. Yeah, trick trick you or so, whatever. I think we're just gonna um, play with honor until I start losing, and then I'll then I'll go Desgro on you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we've got a double header tonight. Yeah, we got two stars. They don't know yet. They don't know yet. But they don't know. It. They don't know it. Uh, but we know it. We were going to do a 10v10, but we thought it might be a little bit of a logistical nightmare to track, like, all of the things with the new rules. So we wanted to try out two 5v5s. Um, it's going to be pretty exciting. We have two really good stars uh, on, on each of our sides lined up to go. And uh, and that's about it. Um, you want to talk about the forces? Yeah. All right, let's, let's do it. Let's check it out. All right, so I've got the Clan Wolf Theta. Galaxy, and I've got two different stars here. So the the star that is going to be uh, my uh, my starters for for tonight, uh, I've got a Dire Wolf Prime. So this thing's disgusting. Uh, it does six at short and medium, four at long, three at extreme, overheat three and overheat long. Couldn't turn it down. Uh, additionally, I have the Adder Prime, one of our favorites here. Mm -hmm. Also overheat long. We know what this guy can do. I have the Timber Wolf C. Also has overheat long. You sensing a theme here? I love the overheat long. Uh, so that guy does solid damage, good move. And then backing those three up, I have a Vulture Prime. And I have a Nova Alt Config A. Uh, which I which I believe you have one of those in yours, uh, in your side as well. Do you not? I do. Yeah. Great mech. Uh, we, Tom and I talked about this last week. The Nova. Phenomenal mech. So that those are that's my starting lance, uh, and then my bench warmers. I've got, <laughs> I've got an executioner prime. Um, this thing's got tons of armor. It's got masks, so you get that TMM two, which of course you pay for. Has jump jets. Not a bad mech all around. Stormcrow prime, fast mover, good at short and medium range. I have a gargoyle prime. It's a mediocre mech, but I wanted to try it. Uh, also very inexpensive for its size and armor. I've got a Viper Alt Config B, 
Uh, and then I have a Summoner Alt Config A, which I played uh, last time and really, really like that mech. All right, on the adder side, my Alpha Star is being led off with a Timberwolf C config. Oh, so that's man. just a sweet snipering Timberwolf. Yeah, we got, we got the same one. Uh, yeah, we probably have a lot of the same. We've been doing the same Battletics you know, for <laughs> years now. Uh, and the Gargoyle Prime, obviously, uh, a nice cheap assault to throw in there. Mm -hmm. um, and then I have an Adder Prime. Obviously, Adder's got to have an Adder Prime. Just a solid mech, as you were saying. Solid Omni for a light. Um, a Stormcrow Prime, which is my personal favorite. I've always loved my favorite Omni mech, period. Good medium, solid all around, fast, deadly, uh, but it needs to get into close range. Um, and then an Overhawk A, and you know, that's that, that sniper configuration that's kind of like a big brother of the adder. It gets that AMS and a little bit more meat to it, which is nice. Um, but that's, lot, that's, that's my the, premier star. We've got a lot of the same tastes yeah, here. Yeah, I know. And then the backup star that will be showing up next would be a Direwolf A config. Mm, so that's, that's just a, a massive brawler. So good. Um, just going to cause damage, I hope. Uh, but because that was a very expensive Omni mech, he's, he's being supported by mediums and lights, so uh, he's going to have two Adder Primes with him doing some sniper work in the back. I love it. Um, Shadowcat Prime, you know, a nice quick mech, uh, one with the, the one that has Probe and Recon, um, the Prime, it's, you know, it's expensive, I don't really like it, but it came in the Clan Invasion box, so it's here. <laughs> yeah. Similarly, the Mongrel, right, it's, it's a nice light you know, skirmisher, but um, the Mongrel C, it's, you know, it's hopefully going to get in there and cause a little havoc, but it's, it's, it won't last long, I don't think. But we'll see. I like how it looks. All right, guys, so there you have it. we got a Zellbringen mission. We've got the forces lined up. I'm going to do a double header. You ready, man? All right. I'm ready to possess. What do they say? Repossess. Well, well negotiated and... Well bargained, well done. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> well bargained and well negotiated. Yeah. I don't remember. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to look it up right now so I can say it in character. It's definitely too. well bargained, well... Leave it in the comments. <laughs> so we'll just see like a... Yeah. <laughs> well bargained, well done, well bargained, well done. Oh, that's what it is, isn't it? Well done. Maybe. I don't know. I'm making it up. Guys, stick around for the flyover on the battle grid and then we'll get right into the mission. Attention Clan Star Adder, this is Star Captain Alan McKibben of Clan Wolf, Theta Galaxy, First Wolf Regulus. I am Odd World and prepared to bid a binary in this trial of possession for Industrial Sector Gamma 2-9. This is Star Captain Carl Irons of the Star Adders. We will honor this trial. I command the Alpha Trinary of the First Adder Hunters Cluster, Kappa Galaxy. I will bid my first star against one of your choosing. Should we win or lose, we will bid our second star and accept the outcome in a best of two test. I accept these terms. I am sending nav coordinates now where our first star will arrive at 1400 hours. My stars will arrive on time and engage in sequence per your terms. Well bargained and done. Well bargained and done. Sheridan, 
Uh, exciting times as these stars face off in this trial of possession. Uh, so both, uh, both forces here going to be following as we discuss the Zellbringen rules. And uh, it looks like I am the attacker. So Kevin got to pick side. And as part of his trial of possession, Kevin rolled randomly for a side. Just brilliant. Uh, like, a true, like a true clansman, Kevin. Yeah. So Kevin is deploying over on this side of the battle grid. Uh, I'll be deploying here. So Kevin will move on first. After movement, we'll declare. And then we will get into shooting. So guys, stay tuned. It's all coming right up. All right, here we are at the end of turn one movement. So nobody's in range. Everybody's sprinted on. Um, and, you know, Kevin and I were just talking, and, and we thought it would make the most sense to challenge on turn two. I think what we're going to do is we're going to get into turn two. We'll roll for initiative, and then the challenges will be flowing. Kevin, are you ready? So ready. All right, turn two, guys, coming right up. Here we are, guys, turn two. This is very exciting. Star Adder forces marching up the uh, the center here, and the uh, Clan Wolf forces spread out to meet them. So, Kevin and I just finished movement. Here's how it works, just as a reminder. So, I lost initiative, I move a model, Kevin moves a model, so on and so forth, until we're all done. Kevin gets the last move as the initiative winner. We're sort of dubbing this the challenge phase, after movement, Kevin. Um, because you won initiative, you get to declare the first challenge because that is advantageous yep. for you. So, Kevin. Well bargained and done. Well bargained and done. <laughs> what is your uh what does you think your first challenge will be here? The first challenge of the evening is gonna be between the Storm Crow and that timber wolf. He's up gunning. Oh my goodness. A bold gracious. challenge. A bold challenge indeed, sir. Trying to box out of his weight class. All right. Well, uh, I accept that challenge. But we are Adder. You are. You are. Is Adder the one that's on drugs? No, that's Goliath Scorpion, I think. Oh, Goliath. I always mix them up. Uh, Necrosia. Okay. They take like an hallucinogenic. <laughs> yes. All right. So I accept that challenge. So those two are now in a challenge. I am going to Kevin. Direwolf against Gargoyle. Whoa, can he see him? Oh, he can. He's up on this hill here. So I have nice, nice line of sight there. Do you accept my challenge, sir? I have no choice. All right. All right. What is your next challenge, then? Puts me in a pickle. I know. I have, I have some tricks up my sleeve. I guess Timberwolf is going to have to call out the Mad Dog. It's a vulture. Okay. I call it a vulture, even though I'm still on the clan side. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, the Mad Dog and the Timberwolf locked in a, uh, in a, in a duel now, I accept. All right, so I am, uh, I'm going to say my Adder against your Nova. You accept? Sure. And that leaves my Nova against your Adder. Even though he's hiding behind those trees, coward. That's not hiding. I mean... It's very honorable. These are honorable trees. All right, so we've declared. Now, Kevin. He's harvesting wood. You know, he's <laughs> just sharpening his teeth like a you beaver. Uh, all right, so we move into shooting. Uh, Crisscross challenge. Just fire going everywhere. Uh, Clan Wolf will begin shooting, uh, as I did lose initiative. So we will be right back. All right, this Nova shooting the adder. I need 11s. My Nova jumped. Uh, so he's getting fancy. Leaping over the hill, Kevin, to drop some shots in on that adder. Here we go. Would you believe it? Look at that. One point of damage. I thought you needed a 12. Uh, 11s, right? Mm -hmm. Let's let's recalc. So I'm at 2, plus 2 for jumping is 4, 5, 6, 7 for partial cover, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, 11s. Wow. 11. So he nails one. Uh, the Nova. What a hero. Doing real good. We're going to roll right into the adder, I think. All right, so this adder firing across at that far Nova. Some wood's in the way. It's going to need nines. Here we go. Gets one. All right, one point of damage on that Nova. All right, this Timberwolf challenged by the Storm Crow. Uh, they're at long range, 
So I need eights to hit. Four dice from this Timberwolf. Missiles and, and guns ablaze, and here we go. Uh, so four points of damage on that Stormcrow. So moving into the Vulture, firing across at that Timberwolf. I gotta see if he's in range. All right, so that Vulture, out of range, but Kevin, you're ready to shoot. Yeah, so the Adder, Adder Prime, extreme range firing down at that Nova. Uh, he's a skill one pilot, so he's gonna Ooh. be working with four, seven, I believe a seven. That's it, all right. Right, or no, it'll be, um, sorry, five, eight. Eight, okay, yeah. still, still good. That's one. All right, so one point on the Wolf Nova. All right, the Nova's up. He's going to be firing across at that adder. He's going to need nines to hit. All right. <laughs> All right, one. so one point of damage to that adder. I think we're going tit for tat so far. So, guys, that wraps up turn two. We're moving into turn three now, so stick around. It's getting hot. All right, here we are, turn three. This is uh, getting interesting here. So I won initiative, which was great. Uh, Kevin, you had to make the first move. Tell me, uh, tell me a little bit about what you're thinking here with these mechs. Not much. There was basically an advance uh, with everybody. Um, Gargoyle trying to cross the field with sprinting and then the Timberwolf backing uh, the other way. Yeah, so basically on my side, I flanked that vulture out a little bit. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to keep that timber wolf at range. Um, you know, we have similar damage profiles, but you do a lot more damage. So if I get close and make it easier to hit, I feel like you're going to lose that, or I'm going to lose that uh, that dice game. Here, uh, the storm crow is just outside of medium. I plan on sitting still and just overheating because I got overheat long. I'm going to try to put five dice into them. Uh, over here, I've got the adder, the dire wolf the Nova all advancing. This adder trying to keep that Nova at long range, so just kind of making a run out from the forest. Uh, and that's about it. You know, Direwolf just plodding along, gonna open up uh, on that gargoyle this turn. So, we'll see what's going on. Uh, Clan Wolf is shooting first. Actually, no, Star Adder's shooting first. So guys, here we go. All right, Storm Crow's starting us off. Engaging finally with that Timberwolf. He's got long range, two damage potential. Uh, he's going to be working with five fives, I believe. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's a skill two. Yeah. I think just a four. Then. Oh, you're at long range. Long range. You're right. Yeah. yeah. Just a five. Which, true to my nature. Did you roll double ones on that? Yeah. On the, oh my goodness. Timberwolf next. Trying to take that, um, I think they were at extreme range shot. Uh, he's a skill one, so he's got a slightly better chance. Uh, it's going to be five, seven. Okay. Pretty yeah. wild for extreme range. Yeah, you know, 50-50. <laughs> uh, one more die. Oof. All right, well, still two points on I'm that good vulture. good at this whole dice rolling thing. The dice rolling thing is sometimes challenging, but that vulture only has five pips of armor. Yeah. Uh, so that's a pretty solid shot. All right, moving on. All right, Adder's up, firing down at that Nova that made the challenge. He's also a skill one. He's at just at long range. Uh, so he'll be working with for uh, sixes. All right, here we go. There it Finally. is. All right, so that's a brutal hit. Three points onto that Nova. The Nova's up, firing on your adder. Uh, he's also a skill one, so working with long range. Yeah, he's Six. skill, yeah. He's sixes. skill two, right? Yeah. No, skill one. Oh, skill one, yeah. Yeah, With sixes. sixes. Somehow. Somehow, some way, some but way. still two points of damage onto that adder. So Clan Wolf... Starting to feel the heat, uh, taking some damage, got a lucky miss on that Storm Crow. That could prove to be pivotal later in this game, but we'll see. Uh, Clan Wolf coming right up. Vulture firing back at his challenger, the uh, Timberwolf. 
Need eights, three points of damage at extreme range. That is, that's a whiff, Kev. That is a whiff. All right, so we're gonna roll into this timber wolf. He is just planted at the, the mm -hmm. edge of this forest. Bring he's, it. he's sighting down the storm crowd. Need a big whiff here. Oh my goodness. So, uh, Kev, we're at uh, long range, correct? Yeah. So I'm gonna get five dice, I'm gonna overheat. Let me think about my target number. So I'm gonna need, it's basically skill one, right? Skill two with the minus one for the stationary. So effectively starting with a one, two, three, I need sixes. It's not, it's not a guarantee, as we've yeah. seen. It's not a guarantee, this could be bad. I am taking some risk here with the Probability overheating. is on your side. <laughs> it is, here we go. Wow. Two. Two points, Kev. Oh, no. This is what happens when you're a second-line galaxy. This is why they're second-line. Uh, just cannot believe it. And you're heating now. And I'm overheated. That's uh, that's rough. Okay, so two points on that Stormcrow. All right, here we go. Adder on Nova. Uh, you needed sixes, Kevin. I need sevens. My genetics are not as good as yours. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Ooh, that's a good hit. All right, so three points coming in from the adder. Was hoping for a floating critical there. Just a four. Uh, moving on to that Nova. I almost called it a Blackhawk. Uh, so the Nova also needs sevens. Uh, the Nova to the adder is long range. So will also be three damage. Here I Doesn't like it. Staring, staring that was a, that was a angrily. Roll. That was a floppy roll. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna audit it. You're gonna click declare Descra. Um, so three points onto the Nova and a floating critical. Here we go. A nine. It's a nothing. It blows straight through the mech. Nothing going on. Right, right over the hood. Right over the hood. So yeah, exactly. So the Adder takes three, dodges a critical. The Nova takes three. Uh, so now we've got the Dire Wolf. We'll be right back with that. Dire Wolf looking to draw first blood here uh, against his arch nemesis, the Gargoyle. <laughs> uh, it's extreme range. I'm going to need nines to hit. Got one, Kev. Got one. So I did draw a little bit of blood. Not as much as I would have liked, but I'll take it. All right, so guys, that wraps up the shooting phase. Four turn three, these two clan forces locked in a trial of possession. Turn four is coming right up. All right, guys, it's turn four. We're back already. It was a pretty quick movement phase. Uh, tactically, it's extremely easy because you don't have to think about Lance cohesion. You don't have to think about, or I should say star cohesion, excuse me. You don't have to think about, you know, exposing the wrong flank or people getting rear shots. You just have to worry about the dude that you're uh, locked in a duel with. So. Uh, we had a pretty good initiative roll. I rolled a 10, Kevin rolled an 11. That means I lost, so I had to make the first move. Here's basically what I did. Um, the vulture flanking around that little facility there, trying to keep distance from the timber wolf there. Um, my overheated timber wolf, he moved into short range. I think I'm in short range. We'll have to measure it. I wanted to get as close as I can to offset um, that heat penalty that he has. The adder just doing what adders do. He's kind of zigzagging around. Um, and then the dire wolf just plodding forward, looking at the gargoyle. And then the uh, the Nova, I decided to jump with him. Wanted to give him a little extra TMM bump. Maybe it'll make a difference, maybe it won't. We'll see. Kev, what about you? What'd you get? It's pretty much a straight advance towards the targets. I think the only peculiarity here is the gargoyle kept range and sprinted over that hill. Okay. Keeping it long from the Dashi Dire Wolf, but uh, soon to be engaged. All right. Well, guys, uh, there it is. There's the battlefield. Turn four shooting coming right up. All right. So there's a vulture sighting down the Timberwolf. Mad dog, mad cat. Timberwolf. You know, it's we're clans. Uh, so, skill two, your TMM two. We're at long range. So I'm going to need a seven. I do four points, Kev. Here we go. Bad day to face off with Timberwolves. Timberwolves definitely got the odds today. Yeah, well, listen, this is actually their debut on the channel. We haven't, we haven't really had the points to fit them in. Um, 
but they are they're awesome minis really great looking and, and i was saying to kevin earlier what a great paint job uh on these these star adders absolutely beautiful uh so speaking of timberwolves the now beauty that I, is any arms we salvage we can just pla plaster right on we don't have to repaint them they're already white you know <laughs> those perfect. little arms are what we're what we're after oh my god that's too funny uh speaking <laughs> speaking of timberwolves uh, mine is going to, uh, speaking of plastering and Timberwolves, mine's about to plaster yours. Uh, I'm going to shoot that Stormcrow. Fingers crossed. He's <laughs> overheating again, Kev. I'm going for broke. Yeah, it's happening. Medium range. I was just outside of short. So it gives me five dice. And uh, I'm going to need a three, five, seven. I need sevens with the, with the heat penalty. Okay. So. Ugh. Here we go. Ready? Ready for this? Deep breath. <laughs> but I get two. Is that enough? Two to, two to put him in withdrawal or quasi oh, withdrawal. God, it puts him in. So he has to. So here. So this is interesting, guys. So we talked about the morale rules. Let's see the crit how... chance as well. <sighs> Let's do the crit chance. That's true. So it's internal. Blow up. It's internal. Let's roll this up. Get these out of the way. Here we go. An eight. I believe that's a, a weapon hit, is it? Weapon. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the way we're doing morale with the Zobrian rules is, is like this. Uh, when they take crippling damage, they need to make a morale test. Same yep. as we've been doing. Double your skill plus some modifiers. If you've been shot, if you've taken a critical hit, so on and so forth. If you pass, you continue to fight normally. If you fail, that's it. You hand over, as we yep. said, you hand yep. over the keys to your mech and you son. Submit and power down. That's right. Submit and power down. So it's basically, just, you're, you're my bondsman now. Uh, so, so that'll be important. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, we'll, we'll have to make that uh, roll in the end phase. So, done with the Timberwolf shooting. Good thing I overheated as I managed to clip that extra one. I guess he would have been in forced withdrawal either way, but I'll take it. So, moving across the field here, I'll figure out who's shooting next. All right, so my Nova jumping in to short range against that Adder. Um, not going to do anything fancy here aside from just shoot him, but I need sevens courtesy of that, that penalty from jumping. Three points of damage. Here we go. Oh, God, Kevin, the ones are killing me. Better you than me. Uh, all right, so we're going to roll into this Adder. So the Adder is at medium range to the Nova. My adder, your Nova. Not to be confused with your Nova and my adder. Yeah, why do we have to crisscross fire with yeah. all of the opposites? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, my adder against your Nova. So he's a two. Uh, you're a two on the TMM side, so that's four. Medium range, six. And you have partial cover. Uh, so here we go. Three points of damage. I need sevens again, right? Yeah, sevens. Here we go. Ooh, that's good. There you go. There we go. So three points of damage on that Nova. Uh, how do, what do we got? Internal? Yep. All right. Seven. Just a motive hit. But that's another mech with crippling damage, so we'll have to check to see if they stay in the fight. Um, all that's left is this dire wolf. So, Kev, we are going to be shooting across at that gargoyle. So, uh, I wish I had a skill one pilot now, but uh, I need a five and they are at long range, so that's going to be a, uh, an 8. Need an 8? Okay. So Direwolf does 4 points at long range. Looking for 8s. It's not easy. But I clip a few. Uh, so not a full house, but 3 points of damage. Nothing to, uh, nothing to shrug off there. It's going to be a nice dent in that gargoyle. But that's it. Clan Wolf is done. Uh, I didn't, I missed the kill shot. Yep. Unbelievable. Uh, Mad Cat, it just, you may, sweaty, you may power down. sweaty palms, we'll see. Uh, so moving over to the Star Adder side, guys, stay tuned, that's coming right up. All right, my Timberwolf, the captain, Star Captain here is firing down Ooh. at that Mad Dog. Love it. <clears throat> He's a skill one, they're at long range still, but that's going to be four potential damage. Um, three sixes, that's yeah. it. All right. Is he skill one or two? He's one. two. He's one. Oh my god. How many skill one guys do you have? Three? Three. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. Wow. Did yeah. you nail everything? Yeah. Somehow with a two. Whew, four points of damage. Kev, I believe that's internal. 
it is in fact a critical hit uh, that Vulture, Mad Dog, excuse me, and uh, in crippling damage. So it could be in forced withdrawal or, or, an, or in a life of bondsmanship. <laughs> uh, so Kevin, Kevin gets a critical hit here. Uh, let's see. A six. Wow, an 11. That's an engine hit. That's bad news, guys. The engine not hit. not going to be easy to survive. That's right. On the morale test, the engine hit counts as a plus two when you're making your morale. So that's worse than a normal critical hit. Uh, that is, that's tough. That's a tough one to recover from. Uh, well bargained and done. Well bargained and done. <laughs> well stricken. <laughs> All right. So moving across the battlefield. This time we're going with the adder close range with that Nova. That's going to be fives. Are you, is that another one of your skill one yeah. shenanigans? Yep. Yeah, five. Well, good thing I jumped. Maybe it'll save me. I, I'm feeling, not feeling optimistic though. Kevin thinking. Kevin thinking. Can you change your target? Are you going to be a Desgra? He's going to overheat. Ooh. Okay, well, I do have four pips left, so if you overheat and land them all, Kevin, it would be total destruction of this Nova. Here it comes. Wow. Enemy mech destroyed. Five. <laughs> Flipped at the last second. That is, uh, so it's even though that little one's cracked does yeah. not matter, that Nova is absolutely obliterated. So things happening in turn four, mechs crippling damage, mechs exploding, and Star Adder. Is and jump was a yet. fatal move. <laughs> fatal move. <laughs> fatal Ha-ha! <laughs> what a bargain to done! <laughs> Alright, that beat up Nova, trying to get that equalizer shot down on the adder. Also working with cover because of that adder in his path. Yes. He's a little salty about that, messing with his shot. There's so, um, much, there's so many adders, it's very confusing. But seeing as the, the destruction that just happened in his face, he's, he's enjoying he's, this, this shards view. Shards of front Nova. Row. Yeah, well bogged. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the Nova's firing down. He's got sixes he needs. Oh um, he's God, still one. Uh, but I am... I guess I'm... He's going to overheat, too. Might as well. I love it. I should have overheated. Oh wow, right. my flutter. goodness. But I think that's enough to just destroy it's just another clan wolf mech just vaporized, guys. That's two down, one with crippling damage. That morale check over there is going to be critical. Can I stay in the fight? This is not looking good because my timber wolf also now with two points of heat. All right, so uh, the gargoyle can't shoot. So, Kevin, I believe you are wrapped up, correct? And the storm crow. Oh, the storm crow. He's got his coup de grace, his, oh, his my fatal blow. Oh, goodness. Which is nasty at this range, too. All right. So, I don't think it's going to puncture the timber wolf, but it's enough to hurt him. All right. So what, what do we got? What are we working with here, Kev? So He's got five damage at medium. We're at medium because we're just outside short. Right. Um, he's a skill, too. He's the one, he's the one yep. poor genetic guy. You know, they're not too sad about him bit, yeah. getting beat up. <laughs> uh, so anyway, right, it's yeah. going to be two, three, four, five. I think it's a six. Six, yeah, I, I, I would agree with that. Wow, everything just four. Four points of damage. All right, well, that is, uh, that's going to hurt. Yeah. Not enough to, obviously, knock that Timberwolf out of commission, but... Enough to uh, salvage his dignity. Enough to salvage his dignity. Considering these morale tests are so critical, should we roll them on camera? I think so. Yeah. So, I, I want a nice start. Uh, so my vulture over here with crippling damage, man, dog, with crippling damage. Uh, so he's a skill two. You double it to a four. He took fire this round. It's a five, and an engine hit six seven. So he's a seven. That's it. Take the keys to my to my yeah. bad dog. He's out. So he surrenders. Uh, you are. I'm, I'm now your bondsman yeah. or something. I'm not sure. Depends on how the match goes. Yes. Um, so, so he he's powers down. He's done. He submits the mech just in too much, uh, just sustained too much damage there. Okay, so Kev, you have two. Yeah, so he also took a crit in that Storm Crow. We'll yes. start with him. Uh, he's a skill two, so a little harder. So he's a four to start, five for crippling. He also took a hit. Yeah, six. So six total. Yeah. Just as bad. Oh man, so two mechs powering Keys down. Keys of the kingdom. Keys of the kingdom. Uh, but this guy did not take a critical. If you remember, I rolled a nine. 
He took one. He did. Oh, I did take. That's he right. That was, that was a prior. That was a prior. That was a through armor. That's right. Okay, so he did take a critical, <clears throat> but he's a skill one. Yeah, so he needs five. No, four. Three, yeah. Four, right? Four. Because he took damage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I was thinking it was going to be one less, but it's because the double one. Right, oh, well, uh, right, exactly. So he's skill one. That's a big deal. Um, so he only needs a four. Can you do it, Kevin? I feel like... You Normally, know, I'd say yes, but the dice, you know, the critical moments. There it is. All right, there it is. So uh, that is... That's interesting. So it's now a two on four. All right, it is turn five, and we are just wrapping up movement here. Uh, not a lot of action on the Clan Wolf side because mostly everything's dead. <laughs> uh, the Timberwolf here uh, came staggering down the hill, and I say staggering because he's got a massive movement penalty, um, TMM reduction. He is declaring a challenge, though, regardless, in, in true honorable fashion, against uh, the other rival uh, Timberwolf there. Not sure if that was smart, but the other two were a little far away and didn't seem to be like a fair challenge, so it seemed dishonorable. Meanwhile, my dire wolf uh, marching up and uh, staring down that uh, that gargoyle at point blank. Uh, by the way, I did win initiative. That's why I got to declare the challenge. Um, Kev, what about on your side? What do you got going on? Well, obviously the temper wolf accepts and is moving directly in to engage. All right. Um, the two lights I have, uh, the Nova and the Adder, uh, proceeded in to sort of watch this heavyweight fight unfold. Yeah. <clears throat> um, and the gargoyle finally slowed down his his sprint to formally engage with the direwolf now. Although at a disadvantage, he feels good about the dice tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Triggers right. have been hot. Well, Kev, you did lose initiative. Uh, so the gargoyle and the timberwolf can shoot. Remember, guys, the Nova and the Ad are not in the challenge. So even though they're sort of swarming that direwolf there, Unfortunately, unable to shoot, uh, courtesy of the ridiculous clan rules of honor. Fog has been done. Uh, so, we're going to be moving into outer shooting. Here we go. The Gargoyle finally getting his opportunity. Uh, he's a skill two. And he's got three damage now at medium range. So, that will be... Five, right? Five. Yeah. Yeah, yeah five. They've been missed before. But I, I have a feeling it's Direwolf's a hard target to miss. <laughs> you just jinxed me with that. Oh man, see that? Look at that. Look at that. Unreal. It's a gargoyle. They just and have bad luck. Flames. Maybe those lights will pull their weight. Alright, now the Timberwolf is in play. He's going to be firing on that other Timberwolf. Four damage here. They are at, I think still at long range. I actually haven't checked. Oh. I assume they are. Well. Possibly not. No, medium range. Medium Looks like range. they're just within. Uh, so, that's, that's so, helpful. So, it's going to be hurting, hurtful, I'm thinking. I mean, you're skill one. I'm basically skill yeah. four. With and the you walk penalty. or something. You're, yeah, you got uh, that yeah, weird penalty. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> um, so, therefore, we're working with three, four. 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 All right. You know, four to hit. Are you, uh, are you doing anything fancy or just straight up shot? I mean, I know you want me to overheat just, to, just, just to, so we can both be cooking. But I'm not going to do it. All right. I think that's the wiser choice. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Still, you manage two, hits. <laughs> two points of damage. Uh, that's lucky. That's lucky for me. But that, that Timberwolf getting beat up. So it's already taken four. You have a C config? I do. We have the same so one. So you're actually only going to take one damage because you have AMS. Oh, you're right, and I we do. we are now working with some LRM brackets. Oh, look at that. Okay, so uh, only one point of damage on that Timberwolf. That is, uh, that's delightful. You're welcome. All that's right, honor. Well, that's clan honor that's right there. Clan. Don't, forget to, don't forget to push that AMS button. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bobby. <Bogdan, laughs> <you died. laughs> All right, so the dire wolf staring down this gargoyle in a vicious medium-range fight here. So gargoyle um, has seven pips left. I do six damage. I was thinking about overheating, but I learned my lesson uh, <laughs> from the Timberwolf. So, what do I need here, Kev? I need uh, two four sixes. That's all I need. Dice are warm. Here we go. Ooh. All right, so that's five points of damage. Ooh. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now, is that going to be internal? I believe it is. It will be. All right. Not bad. So, here we go. Good showing for the Direwolf Prime. 
eight, so that's a weapon hit. So that gargoyle dropping down, uh, stripping it of long range capabilities. Doesn't matter now, but that will be very helpful uh, in turns to come. Over here, I am not shooting with my Timberwolf. Uh, it's just too hot. I mean, I'm going to be skill four, just awful. I'm going to need eights to hit base, uh, which I don't like. So I'm going to cool that Timberwolf off, let him reset, and hopefully next turn uh, we'll, we'll get the upper hand. But turn six is coming right up, guys. So far, it looks like Star Adder is owning the field. All right, it is turn six, guys. We are back. Uh, some exciting news for Star Adder, the Gargoyle. Just uh, relentless, uh, passed his morale test, so he's still in the fight. Uh, Clan Wolf lost initiative, so I had to move first. I swung my Timberwolf, uh, freshly cooled down around the outside of that uh, that sweet ride that I want to take home, that Stormcrow. Uh, and then the Direwolf uh, backed up a little bit, actually, uh, still being swarmed here. Looks like a Direwolf sandwich, uh, but <laughs> I don't have to worry about that gargoyle. So, Kev... Uh, tell me a little bit about what you're thinking here with this Timberwolf. Um, well, he pretty much just advanced up. He's just going to, I think, follow a standard attack pattern here. All right. Attack not, pattern not delta. Much, not much to do with, with the default advantage at this point. Yeah. No, it makes a lot of sense. Well, um, I am going to uh, shoot first here. I'm not going to make the same mistake twice. I'm not going to overheat yet. Uh, so I'm going to need a 2, 4, 6 to hit you. Medium range. Four points of damage. Uh, actually, three because you have AMS, right? So really, I should drop this down. So well, no, 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 because it's you have to hit. You have to hit. Yeah. Good thing you know the rules. Uh, here we go. All right, so I get three hits, so we reduce that down to two. So two points of damage onto that Timberwolf. All right, so now this Dire Wolf here facing down this Gargoyle, uh, going for the kill. I thought about challenging a second target. I thought about challenging a second target and doing um, basically a split fire secondary attack, but I, uh, I opted to just uh, dump that, it all, dump it all into the gargoyle. You know? I don't know if you could do that. I don't know if that'd be honorable. You think you think there's dishonor, Kevin? Kevin filing it with the clan court of honor. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that would be like me declaring because I see some sort of advantage. Well, um, I don't know. I mean, I'm, it's a two. It's a two v one. I feel like we'd have to we'd have to go to litigation yeah. for that one. It would be difficult. To I mean, say. if you don't survive, you know, he's going to litigate it anyway. <laughs> All right. So here we go. Dire wolf, gargoyle. I need. We're short range. I need fours, fives. Here we go. Looking for fives. There it is. So that gargoyle explodes into a thousand tiny pieces, uh, and that is the end of the clan wolf. Shooting, but will it be enough, Kevin? Will it be enough? Let's find out. All right, Gargoyle's kicking it off, firing at the Dire Wolf with two damage now. He took a weapon hit, so he's he's a hobbling along with no SRMs, I suppose. Poor guy. Um, two damage, and he'll be working with two, three, four. Yeah, seems reasonable. Wow. All right, but you still got it, thankfully. Frighteningly. Uh, so two points of damage onto that dire wolf. Uh, was fresh, so no worry about a crit there. But over here, I'm starting to sweat bullets. Uh, only three points of armor left on this timber wolf. All right, over here, the timber wolf looking to land all four. He has to work with fives, I'm counting. Yeah, yeah, because I had sixes. You're just genetic. A hair better. Yeah. There it is. There it is. All right, wow. So four points of damage. Reduce it to three with the AMS. Uh, but still, that, that Timberwolf, my Timberwolf, stripped of armor, right for the kill. So we will be moving on to turn seven on this trial of possession. All right, it is turn seven. Exciting things here. These Timberwolves still squaring off. Over here, the Direwolf... Uh, challenging both of these clan mechs. One very damaged Nova, uh, and then the Adder who snuck into my rear arc as Kevin did win initiative. So, uh, we're going to get right into shooting here, guys. I am going to not overheat. <laughs> just just going to... Call gonna, in some artillery. Yeah, right. It's very honorable. 
Uh, so I need a 246. We're still at medium range. Here we go. There it is. Could have used the floating crit there, Kev. But three points of damage, uh, courtesy of the AMS, onto that timber wolf. Now moving over here, the dire wolf, I am going to just finish off that Nova. That's uh, what I'm going to do. So I got six points of damage. We're at medium range. The Nova did not move. So I need a two, four. I need fours, guys. Is it possible that I'll miss this? Ooh, it almost, is. almost. I missed one, but still five points of damage. I think that's enough to cook the Nova, right? Sure is. All right, so the Nova's down, but still going to get one more shot off. Let's see what happens, guys. It is Star Adder shooting. It's coming right up. All right, that Timberwolf going to be firing on your Timberwolf. Oh, he's only got four structure, Kevin. That's mm. it. Just a just a meager four structure. Two points will put this mech in uh, in the status of crippling. They will be crippled at that so point. So I need fives. It seems like such an obtainable number. So obtainable. But I would overheat. You never that's know. just me. Are, are you? All right. He's You're, doing it. Yeah. The spirit of the. I mean, I call it. I'm like, I would overheat. Yeah. Button on the third Fine. button on the Don't right. Don't forget the AMS. <laughs> <laughs> so he'll do it. You taunted him. Ah. I'm gonna miss this. I don't think you are. Believe, Kevin. There it is. All right. Wow, so no. good thing you overheated. Well, I guess not. Didn't make yeah. a difference. But three it, damage. It is three points of damage. So that timber wolf in crippling damage status could be in force withdrawal. Kev, you get a critical hit. Another engine hit. Oh, that's going to be tough. That's going to be tough. All right. Moving over to the other side here now. And this dire wolf withstand the barrage. Both of these mechs, the Adder and the Nova, I believe, had heat. But both of them now cooled off, obviously. Yeah. Just spent that turn watching. So they had a pre-planned, coordinated, coordinated overheat strike. melt strike here. <laughs> <laughs> So obviously you're going to get alpha from both sides. I see that. It looks like the adder is in fact in my rear arc, which, which I don't appreciate. seems epic, but it may just bring you down to like one or two pips of armor if I'm at I mean, best. Maybe 14 at pips. Best. I feel like the dire wolf has a lot. Yeah. So we'll start with the Nova since he's getting cooked. Um, so he's going to be overheating. It's going to be four damage, yeah? Four damage, yep. Um... <sighs> Do you need a four? I believe you need, I believe you need a three because you're stationary. Yeah. So what does he need? <laughs> he needs a three. He needs a three. <laughs> oh, oh man, there it is. Uh, it was almost a floating oh, critical. Know. That would have been a great uh, one. that would have been that would have been crazy. So uh, four points of damage to that dire wolf. He has four pips left, if my math serves me right, as he had eight remaining. So the adder, adder in the rear arc. So he's also overheating. Oof. So that's going to be five points of damage, Kevin. And you need even less. <laughs> uh, uh, you need the same, I believe. Yeah, probably the same because he's he's close, but he's closer. Not, we're right, stationary. stationary. So one, two, three. That's it. That's the final shot. Uh, so but just like that, the dire wolf stripped of armor. Seven, that's a motive hit. Oh, no. That's a motive hit. Let's see what happens. I've got two morale checks to make. No, 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 just one, right? The dire wolf not in forced withdrawal yet. But I'm going to roll it here. I'm going to roll it right now, guys. This this timber wolf, skill two, multiplied by two is a four. He took damage five and took an engine hit six, seven. Does he stay in the fight? Is he honorable? He's like, wow. he's like, take my, Peace. take my mech, come out. <laughs> I've had enough. All right, so the first trial of possession now complete. There's just nothing. I'm, I'm not gonna fight this one out. Uh, that, that is just, it's gonna be madness. That adder is gonna put more damage. I uh, basically the, the, the Daishi, the dire wolf, has only four pips of structure remaining. One more pip puts him into crippling damage. So Kevin. Well played and done, sir. Well played and done. Uh, but this so, is, this so my is... beta star, they're, they're issuing a challenge to your second star. Oh, a challenge. Well bargained and done. <laughs> Already. So what we're going to do is we're just going to clear the table. We're going to use the same board. The dead lay where they lay. I love it. All right, so we'll move the 
will move the destroyed. Uh, Everyone actually, that can the, walk can walk. Anything that walks will move off the table. The destroyed mech stay, and the secondary stars will be on the table. Guys, don't go away. It's double header trial of possession action isn't done yet. The dead lay where they lay. A bunch of potential salvage and destroyed mechs littering this battlefield as the beta stars, uh, the JV team as I like to call it, moves <laughs> onto the battlefield. So guys, Kevin and I are uh, just going to roll for initiative and then we're going to get right into turn one. So we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Game two coming right up. Okay, here we are, end of turn one. Uh, so the other thing that's uh, interesting is we did uh, we did pick different deployments. So, so we're now going uh, this way across the map before we were we were going this way. So just switch it up a little bit. Uh, I won initiative, so I got to move first. Not much on turn one, but uh, you can see the the smoking carcasses on this side of the battlefield from the prior battle, uh, and my mech sort of wading through that. So I've got a storm crow out here. Uh, my giant executioner, hopefully leveraging his jump jets to get through this tough terrain, maybe get uh, maybe get in a, a scrap with that dire wolf. What do you think, Kev? We'll see. Uh, I got the gargoyle here, my dragonfly slash viper there, and then my summoner. That's my star commander, uh, or star captain, excuse me. Uh, he is uh, <laughs> he's right there. So what do you have going on here? It just looks like a nice tight formation. Yeah, light and medium. It's squishy, but then they're backed up by that massive dire wolf the who's rock. inching along behind. Yeah. Keeping watch over the children. <laughs> Just like a sheepdog. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, turn two is coming right up. Stay tuned for some action. All right, it's turn two. Uh, I won initiative by one point. So, Kevin, tell us what, uh, what you did over here on your side of the table. Well, I guess the Adder and the Dire Wolf just proceeded forward for engagement while the two speedy guys, the mediums, they kind of made a dash for those woods. Okay. Um, I like it. Don't know what's going on at the moment. Yeah. It's well, going to get weird. It's going to get weird. There's some challenges happening. Here's what I did. I've got the Summoner out here, uh, the Dragonfly slash Viper. Uh, he's moving along the hill here. We have the gargoyle just barreling up the middle. I have two sprinters on the outside, the storm crow. I knew I wasn't going to be able to see anything. And then the executioner is just plowing through the forest there and knocking trees out of his way, uh, looking to get some line of sight. So I am going to declare some challenges, Kevin. Um, I want an issue so I can declare the first one, then you get to declare. So my first declaration is going to be this dragonfly here against uh, that one adder on the far flank there. So the one on the far outside. Hmm. Uh, the second challenge here, oh, you get to pick. Yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry, listen, I'm Clan Wolf. I get very excited about <laughs> things. So tell me, uh, what do you? what is your challenge, sir? Well, I think the dire wolf is gonna do what you did before and challenge the, uh, the man or whatever he's called. The gargoyle. The gargoyle. Oh, okay, well, I was gonna do that. So I feel good about that one. All right, well now I don't know what I'm gonna do. Uh, <laughs> you, you took my challenge. So it really, it can only be guys that's, that, that can see each other. I, I don't know if I'm gonna challenge anybody over on this side yet. So I think even though it's kind of ridiculous, I think my summoner's gonna challenge your other Adam. Because you have all, you know, all smaller mechs. I mean, it's gonna have to get, like we said, it's gonna it's have to get, get weird. So um, the summoner's gonna be on that inside Adder. Do you wanna make any more challenges? they kind of have to can even see they can technically see each other oh i guess they can look at that yeah you're right there's there's a lane there and i guess the executioner even though it's through the woods can probably still see that um, i don't think it's three inches it might be i'd have to measure so you your pick who fights the executioner <laughs> The Shadow Cat or the Grendel? I think the, the Mongrel is going to make the challenge of okay. the Storm Crow. Oh, I like it. Okay. So then in that case, the Executioner will challenge that Shadow it's, Cat. You know, it's questionable whether he can see him, but it's like just through the hair's edge of that wood. Oh, here's the... I'm going to counter-challenge, Kevin. 
I'm going to challenge, my executioner challenges both of your mechs. Can he see? He's like 10 inches into the woods. I mean, he, he may not be able to see, but he, he knows. I know that. you're out there. I know you're out there. I'll bite your bloody legs off. Uh, what do you think? What do you think about that? What do you think about that counter challenge, Kevin? How does that make you feel? I think they're going to have to accept it. I feel like that's uh, like ton for ton. That's almost right there, right? 90 tons, 95 tons. Still have a slight advantage, but I feel good about it. All right, so you shoot first. So we'll be right back, guys. All right. The adder on the end, I believe you challenged with that dragonfly. Viper slash dragonfly. Yes, yes. that is accurate. Uh, so he's going to be firing right away. Dice down. He's like, yes, I accept. <laughs> He was already locked on with the targeting computer. Basically. Uh, he's, they're highly skilled, though, these adders. They are, they are an elite sniper squad for these hunter adders. Oh, my goodness. So. This is a bad idea. He's going to be working with... They're the only two at long range, so he's going to have three, four, five. Where did I start? Six. No, not even... Six. Yeah, six, right? Just long range, yeah. So just one. Just one for now, but that, that dragonfly doesn't have a ton of armor, so it's a good opening. Do you want to roll into the other adder? Might as well. It's he's going to be rolling same, seven because right? he's got extreme to that. All extreme to the summoner. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Just one. One. All right. So one and one. Not a terrible start. Uh, how about this dire wolf? For the dire wolf. Okay. So he is an extreme to this gargoyle. One of my favorite minis, by the way, the gargoyle. Love the way it looks. Cool looking. The double barrels. Yeah, really neat. And those launchers underneath. Mm -hmm. Where is that the Prime? Uh, it is. <laughs> Same yeah, one. That's like the lackluster one. It is, but it's cheap and it's got a lot of armor. It's like a meat shield, you know? Uh, Absorbs. We'll see how long it lasts against this dire wolf. <laughs> um, yeah. All right, so, so extreme, extreme range. You got four damage. Um, three, so two, four, four eight. Five, six. Yeah. So Seven. Stream range is four, yeah. Oh, you're skill one. Yeah. Oh, you nasty adder. All right, so. Sevens, right? Yeah, you're right. I was thinking skill two. Three hits. Oh. Close. Ouch. All right, that is a solid opening from Clan Star Adder. So the wolves feeling the bite already. The bite of the adder. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right, so Clan Wolf coming up next. All right, this Viper's up, shooting at the outside adder here. I need sevens. I do two points of damage. Just one. All right, so one for one. Uh, now this Summoner. Summoner's up next. He's got... I'm trying to see, Kev. Does, does he have any cover? No, I don't think... I don't, the adder's a lot smaller, but I think it is actually a clear shot. He's far enough away from the hill, uh, so there will be no cover. The summoner is at extreme range, which is two points of damage. Uh, and I'm going to need eights on this one. So here we go. Looking for eights. All right. So I got one. So again, one for one. Can I do four damage to the dire wolf? I cannot because I have zero for extreme range. Uh, so that's uh, that's the end of clan wolf. like, what? Yeah. You, I mean, you, you would be surprised. All right. They're Omnimax. You never know. <laughs> it's just like a transformer. Just drops from like a drop ship and just lands into a like place, you know? That'd be amazing. That's uh, That'll be coming in. That's the, like Robo in the Ill Clan. Yes, right. Uh, so guys, turn two is wrapped up. We're moving into turn three. Things are going swimmingly so far um, for Star Adder as they have severely damaged. I mean, we I go think. one for one, but, you know, dire wolf you'll win man. that war of attrition. That Dire Wolf A is scary, though, man. Um, if, we'll see what happens. All right, so... Moving into turn three, guys, this is when the Executioner is going to come into his own, so we'll see what happens. Initiative is going to be a big one. All right, guys, we are just wrapping up movement for turn three on our second game here. Very exciting stuff. So I won initiative. I rolled a five, and I had that sinking feeling, right? I think the last thing I said was, oh, initiative is going to be so important. And I rolled a five. I was like, ugh. Uh, but then Kevin rolled a three. Well, those mediums cruising down the back edge of those woods, but... Caught a little off guard by that, um, what was it, a gladiator? Yeah, execution. Came crushing down. Yes. Across the woods with his jump jets. Mm -hmm. um, just saying hello to that storm crew on the way by. 
Just waving up. <laughs> the dire wolf decided the plan. He's just gonna unload on that approaching. Um, yeah, the gargoyle. Gargoyle. There. Yeah. And then the two adders moving up. You know, they're just doing their standard engagement here, looking to outwin with skill. Yeah. Well, they're they're a great mech. Um, so on my side here, uh, we've cleared the uh, the debris field of of mechs. The summoner uh, still out on the flank. The viper using its speed to get in. I think last turn I actually listed it uh, with, with a TMM2. That was on me. I think you still hit regardless. Um, but I, I keep forgetting. I mean, these things are, are just lightning fast. Um, and then I've got this gargoyle. I didn't know what else to do with them. Um, I mean, if this were an inner sphere mech, I would have ran behind the woods. Uh, but this is a clan pilot who believes that, you know, facing down a dire wolf head on is dishonorable. I feel like um, every gargoyle pilot is just in the mode to just... Just beeline. So uh, the gargoyle, you know, really just forced to do as much damage as it can, and it's it's crippling because at long range uh, I only do one point of damage, but it is what it is. Meanwhile, this was this was fun. Um, I was hoping this would happen. So the executioner igniting its jump jets uh, and landing down here, hopefully catching these mechs off guard. And the executioner doesn't have that ridiculous damage profile that the Daishi or Dire Wolf has, so. Um, only does four points, but still should be good. And then this Storm Crow, I, I sprinted him because I have a feeling once that gargoyle goes down, he, he's yeah. hungry, hungry for blood. So I'm going to try to get him into medium range so he can start dishing out five points of damage right out of the gate. So that's my plan, Kev. We'll be right back with your shooting. All right. Adder Prime on the far end is going to be shooting at that Viper. They are now in medium range. He's got three damage. He's going to be working with... Two, five, sixes, I believe. All right, very cool. Man, Oof. man, nothing, man, 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 nothing. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Moving on to the summoner. So I believe that'll just be sevens. No, it should be sixes still because it's one less. Yeah, one less on the TMM. <laughs> still a little flaky on the trigger. Two damage. All right, so two damage. At least you're not overheating quite yet. All right, so moving on. All right, the dire wolf stood still, negating that skill one, and now working with skill zero. zero. Long range, yeah. so it's going to be a fives. That long range to hit. Yeah, plus three, and then two for the TMM. Five damage. And this this can five. Make... Yeah, dude, the A is nuts. Oh my god! Did you only land <sighs> one? Oh my god! Kevin, I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm not. I'm sorry, not sorry. All right, that mongrel trying to blast one through the edge of those woods at the uh, gladiator, right? And now he's got pretty serious cover from the woods, so he's working with eights. Yeah. Yeah, well, I couldn't quite get out of the woods. I was trying, though. But, but you still nail good. one. All right, so one down on the gladiator. You want to roll right into this shadow cat? Yeah, so the shadow cat I don't think is working really against any woods because you're right on. I think he's got a clear line of sight there. Yeah, he is, right, he's not shooting through any woods, and an alpha strike you don't get for being in woods. Right. Right, so a little different than class. some intervening. Yeah. <clears throat> so, he's also a skill two, so for five, six. Five, six. Yeah. Do it over here. Get him all, so that's four points to the executioner this turn. That is a serious opening salvo. I'm sort of regretting regretting challenging both of these mechs, uh, but I thought it would be flavorful. But let's see what happens. Clan Wolf still has to shoot. I'll probably start with that summoner. All right, the summoner on this adder, they're at long range. I get three points of damage. I need sevens to hit. Just one, Kevin, just one. I can live with that. I, I cannot, I cannot. So this Viper uh, at medium range does two points of damage. <sighs> All right, so four, I need sixes. Here we go. There you go. All right, so two points. Uh, two points of damage there, I'll take it. All right, this Gargoyle trying to retaliate with a meager one point of damage. Uh, here we go. I needed, I needed more than that. Uh, I needed a, set, a five, I believe, and I still rolled a three, unbelievable. All right, I'm gonna roll right around to this executioner here. Uh, so he is 
blasting on his jump jets, crushes down, uh, and unloads on this Shadow Cat. I am at medium range. Uh, so, I'm, actually, I do four. Let me grab another dice. I got four points of damage. Brace. But it's not going to be easy because I jumped. So, I'm starting base with a seven, eight, nine. I need nines to hit you, Kevin. Um, he's hoping. He's watching. Oh. There it is. So, that's three points of damage. Could have been a floating critical, guys, but it was not. Uh, but that's that. So this turn is a wrap. Nobody uh, crippled. Everybody's still in the fight so far. We'll see what happens. Turn four now. It's coming right up. Turn four. Clan Wolf wins initiative again. So Kevin, tell us, what, what is the Star Adder up to uh, this turn? Yeah, well, those Adder Primes on the hill, they kind of just repositioned, didn't really advance, just kind of... Shuffling around. Their angle. Yeah. Um, the dire wolf, however, is staying in his fixed position. Very honorable. Um, <laughs> hey, man. Just, the, uh, he's the, shooting. The, the, poor, the poor gargoyle is like, man, I really regret this <laughs> challenge. Really regret accepting this one. <laughs> and then uh, those mediums, they are kind of swarming around that gargoyle. The, the shadow hawk really... The executioner. Goes in deep. Shadow yes. cat. I mean... Um, Shadow yeah. Cat, Gargoyle, gla Gladiator, oh, Shadow this. Bird, you know. <laughs> so the Executioner basically just kind of pivoted, turned around to make sure nobody was in his rear arc. This Stormcrow getting real hungry. Hungry for some Direwolf. <laughs> He's almost almost a medium range. Crow to the Carrion. Um, and then the uh, the Gargoyle just plodding along again. Not, I, he was just do, caught in the do, open. Do, 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 do. He's got Seriously. like elevator music in his cockpit. <laughs> this, things are just blowing up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had the same feeling last time. It was like oh, the same deal. God, the Gargoyle Prime is not on the Especially my, uh, in Sprint. Not, even, even, even with the low cost and the high armor, it's just it's not worth it. I take it in a city fight, maybe. Um, okay. Summoner is within 12 inches. This is the sweet spot. I can do four points of damage there. I can outpace your, um, your adder in terms of damage as long as I overheat. And then the Viper uh, moving in close here as well, but they're uh, still at medium. So... Uh, Adder will be shooting first. We'll be right back with that. All right, on our far left flank, that Adder Prime firing off his shoulder to that Viper. Um, they're at medium range, I presume, still? Yeah, they're just at like four inches or so, maybe five. So he's going to overheat. He's Ooh. going he's going balls to the wall. All right. Um, he's so... going to be working with... Three, Sixes. four, five, six, yeah. yeah. Sixes, all right. Could be big, guys. It could be big. It's just stripped. Just internal, stripped. though, right? It is not internal yet. Wow. Uh, so he's taken four pips in total this game. Um, That's right. So, man, I thought that was I thought that was the moneymaker, but Viper brought a little more armor than I thought. Okay, so this other S Adder. Same deal. Same deal over there. Overheat and firing down. Okay, now uh, the summoner only has three pips of armor left, much like the uh, the viper yeah. did. Are you overheating here? Yeah. Okay. I think he's going to be working with just fives, right? Four, five. Yeah. Okay, so a little easier because the summoner doesn't move as quick as that viper. But it's enough. It's four. enough four. All right, so it's not crippling damage, but it is a critical hit. Critical hit sensors. And I believe is a weapon. Fire hit? control. Fire control. Oh, my least favorite of <laughs> all hits. That's like a negative TN two or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My right, plus two your TN. Oh, it's awful. All right, so we'll be right back with the rest of the Star Adder force. The Dire Wolf now up, firing on that gargoyle. That's still barreling down at him. He's got five damage at long range. He's still one. All right. So that'll be a four. I think sixes. Is what I'm counting. He's skill one, right? Yeah. Yeah, six. All right, here we go. Oh, there it is. Well, five on the pilot die. That is gold. So that's four points of damage. Five. F oh, sorry. Five points of damage to that gargoyle. So that's going to be two pips internal. It is crippling damage, Kevin. And you get a critical hit. Seven. So that's a motive hit. Right. Nothing too exciting. But the crippling damage, that's big, guys. So that gargoyle... Uh, going to need to make a tough test. 
All right, that Grendo is going to try to pop the Executioner. So I got two damage, but it's medium range, so not too terrible. Uh, two, three, four, I think it's going to be sixes is what yeah. I'm counting. Okay, here we go. So just one hit. Okay. And then the Shadow Hawk, he's got one extra damage, but he's got the same situation going on. All right. No just good. A total miss there. That's that's big for me. Sure I need is. that executioner intact to fight the indomitable dire wolf over there. Uh, okay, so guys, that wraps up Star Adder shooting. Wolf will be right back. All right, that viper shooting at that adder. Uh, two points of damage. Gonna need sixes, Kevin. Uh, two skill. Two for your TMM. Two for range. Here we go. Ouch. There it is. All right, so two pips to that adder. Is that internal? Sure is. All right, so adder uh, taking crippling damage. Not destroyed yet, though. And they are skill one, so here we go. Nine, that's no critical hit, Kevin. Woo. You know, that's going to affect your morale check, too. He's only going to need to roll a, a three. Two, three. Oh, that's bad news. All right, so, <laughs> so the summoner. Uh, four points of damage against the adder. Also working with sixes. This is a little bit, a little bit better. I'm hoping to put this one out of its misery. Can I do it? Uh, got three. Lucky that pilot dice had me it hopeful. Stink. It stinks. Uh, but I managed to pull off three sixes. So not too bad there. So that one's also internal. It's not dead yet. No, he had a little more meat on him. Oh surprisingly. No. This is not this is not Clan Wolf Stay, Kevin. I don't think they're gonna be undefeated anymore. I think you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna be two and zero on them. Uh, an eight. So that is a weapon hit, I think, right? Yeah. That one's a weapon. That'll be hit. helpful. That'll be helpful. Um, but you know, again, with that overheat, that thing is still uh, a viable monster. All right, moving on. Can I damage the dire wolf, Kevin? I need a five. One point from the gargoyle. Does that thing have stealth armor on it? Uh, I mean, does that explain why I'm missing? I it's mean, a standstill ginormous target. It's, it's the biggest miniature in the lineup. <laughs> and this guy's just like, I can't hit. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Oh my god, it's brutal. Uh, okay. It's like Edward Forty Hands, you know? Like. It's right. <laughs> he just, yeah, right, exactly. Somebody put like a banana in the LBX Five. It's not even, <laughs> not even shooting. <laughs> All right, so the executioner is up. This should be some murder. Uh, who did I shoot last time? The shadow cat, right? Um, is that who I took? Is that who took damage last time? Was it was the shadow cat. Yeah, yeah. Was, right. All right, so I guess I'm gonna stay on him. Uh, so all right, he's what a do bigger I, threat for sure. Yeah, two, five, six, seven. I need sevens. It's not a guarantee. Four points of damage. Here we go. Whoa. One, Kevin, one not point. enough to take him out of the fight. Kevin, one point. Clan Wolf not showing up uh, for game day here. JV team, definitely. Now we know why these guys are the second stringers. Uh, this is just bad. So guys, turn four is a wrap. Clan Wolf in trouble. We have some, let's roll some morale on camera. Uh, so let me let me do my gargoyle first here. So he needs a four, five, six. I need a six, it's doable. I got it, a seven. He's just so oblivious. Uh, all right, now you got your two adders. Yeah, Both so of one of them's working with a three, the other one's working with a four, I think yeah. it's gonna be. So both doable, they're not out of the fight. This is this is tough. So I'll do the three. Got it. I was worried about that. The four. You got, got them, it. you got them both. So everyone's still in the fight. Um, this is do or die. So these, these mech warriors, they know. They know what's at stake. Uh, so guys, turn five is coming right up. All right, turn, it's turn five, Kev? It's turn five. Something like that. This is our favorite turn. This is when everybody dies. Um, the infamous turn So five. We, had a, we had a couple initiative roll-offs, but I ended up pulling it out again. Kevin, this is unlike you to lose initiative so much. But we have uh, some exciting things happening here. You've been in inheriting of, my uh, pilot dive. Yeah. It's, it's true. Um, so you, you lost you had to move first yeah uh, that was huge for me by the way yeah um, so tell me what you did here yeah because I, I feel like the one that mattered was the two-on-one right that that was kind of Super the flanking critical. opportunity so 
over there, right, they kind of did their dance, but ended up with the same kind of position yeah. as before, both at, all at medium range. Um, the dire wolf starting to backpedal. Um, not that he should be scared, but just Hearing keeping that. Yeah, he's not sure what's some sensor blip just popped into short range yeah. around his side here. So just getting an eye on that storm crow, seeing what he's up to. Yeah. You never know with these dishonorable wolf. It's true. We have been known to be wily. Um, this adder back down the hill, and I'm glad he did because that, that viper was, was able to attempt to get an edge on him and has definitely can definitely outmaneuver him. So yeah, uh, they're at short range. This one, though, knowing that Summoner had to hike it up the hill, planted his feet. He's doing a last stand, knowing that his days are numbered. Yeah. But he'll be very proud. His family, his Sibco will be proud to know that he took down <laughs> a much larger... It's true. Rig. Yeah, it's true. Uh, and what about over here, Kev? Over in the... the oh, I was the, just mentioning that, but right, they did their little dance yeah. where they, they... I think because of initiative, they really couldn't get around that crafty uh, executioner. I know, Initiative has kept the Executioner alive, um, which may prove to be important later. We'll see. This Gargoyle um, still standing firm, running, running the gauntlet. Uh, I think possibly in medium range by now. Uh, what do you think, Kev? What's the survey says? Yes? Yep. yep. Uh, so that's exciting. The Summoner jumped up the hill. I'm trying to keep my TMM up. I, I don't need a lot to hit you because you did stay still. And this Viper, I was trying to get in the rear arc, but you know, had to go up and down the hill so lost a couple uh, MP there. So we'll start with adder shooting. Are you ready, sir? All right, as always, that far left adder starting us off. Um, short range, he's gonna unload and overheat into that Viper. Um, this one did not take the critical, so he's gonna be working with his full salvo here. All right. Um, but he's a skill one. No negative effect from the heat yet, right? No, yeah, he does get a minus one from the heat. So he's basically a skill two with the heat. Okay. Well, yeah. What was I thinking of? Where, TMM, where? it doesn't kick until... That's what two. it is, yeah. yeah. Um, so, one, two, five, yeah, six. six. Yeah. Ooh, what? Wow. Ooh, two hearts. Wow, so those PPCs... But uh, I think that results just, to one, right? So it, yeah, I mean, it's destroyed. The Viper's cooked. But yes, it would resolve down to one through armor critical. You'd actually get two because you hit internal structure, but doesn't matter. The Viper is toast. Vaporized. End of its life. All right, the second adder planted his feet. He's got a weapon down, though, so he's working with a, a with faulty PPC. <laughs> Firing into that <clears throat> um, summoner there with three damage because he's overheating still. Yeah. Um, Stood right. still. So he's going to be working with, I think it's going to be fives. Yeah. Um, well, he's got the heat too, so I think it's six. six. Yeah, Correct. six Sorry. again. That's fine. Six again. Can you feel it? One, two, and three. That destroyed. summoner, Kevin. Is the summoner destroyed? The summoner is destroyed. I can't believe it. So two clan wolf mechs down. That's bad news. That dire wolf. Going to be firing into that blazing down gargoyle. <laughs> Mask is engaged. He's got the pedal down. <laughs> he's uh, he's in range though for some for some heavy heat. So this is going to be eight damage from the A config at medium range. <laughs> is that with overheat or uh, he doesn't that's have just, overheat? That's, that's just that's raw. just normal. This is that's raw just damage. Raw. <laughs> so I only have uh, two pips, I believe. Uh, so. so he's a skill one. So that's going to be. Two, four, five, right. five. Yeah, because you're medium range. Yep. Uh, yeah. Unbelievable. Mm. I feel like I'm playing 40k. I, it's true. Look at all this damage. Oh my god, the one. But, but you, but you needed. You only needed five. You still scored three points of damage. Ah, uh, still. I mean, that's just the law of. I want the weight, overkill. Weight of the dice. It's still an overkill, Kevin. Just by one point, though. So that gargoyle's down. Three mechs destroyed, Kevin, in a single turn. Classic turn five. Now, can the Grendel and the Shadow Cat do something miraculous? I don't know. If they land everything, guys, they could get internal. Stay tuned. All right, Shadow Cat's up. Firing into that Executioner. Needs sixes at this medium range. Just two of them. All right, so that's just two. Now the Grendel. And the Grendel. Following up with a little bit less damage. Needs sixes as well. 
He's a whiffer. All right. The executioner's so he's nervous. Firm. He's nervous about that shadow cat going down. They're, they are. They're feeling the heat. But, I mean, the entire right flank of Clan Wolf just collapsed. Uh, only the Stormcrow and the executioner remain. Let's see what happens in shooting. All right. We're going to roll through this here. The Viper knows his mission. Overheating. Targeting the Adder. I'm going to need two, four, five, Kevin. Just fives. So the adder is destroyed, yes. Now moving on to the summoner, I'm at medium range from here to here. Uh, I did jump, so I'm at basically a skill four, five, six is no what TM. I need. No TM. And there it is. So a uh, whole bunch of damage landing on this adder. So both adders destroyed. Mutual this, carnage over here. This cargoyle, I don't think he's going to... I don't think he's going to hurt this dire wolf. We'll see. Uh, so far, he hasn't done anything. I think he's got the speed metal turned up too loud in his cockpit. He's just <laughs> mask engaged. <laughs> Thrash metal. <laughs> All right. So um, what do I need here? So two, three, uh, four, five. Am I at medium? We yeah, we're at medium. So far, just fives? Is that right? Just fives. Here we go. This could happen. Could happen, guys. He does it. All right, so three points of damage on that dire wolf. Finally. So paint off the armor. Okay, the executioner on the shadow cat. Four damage at medium range. Uh, no opportunity to overheat. I need sevens. Here we go. Wow. Just one point it's enough of damage. To put him in withdrawal. <laughs> it is. It's internal. Yeah. Okay, so I do get a critical hit. Four. What is a four, Kevin? That is a fire control. fire control. I like that. All right, guys. Well, turn five is wrapped up. We did go back to the tape. The summoner rolled two nines and an eight. I did need eights to hit. So the adder is, in fact, destroyed. The summoner destroyed. The viper destroyed. The gargoyle destroyed. The shadow cat is the only thing that, uh, that needs to make a morale test this turn. So, Kevin, to take a critical hit. Four, five, six, sixes is what he's working on. All right. This could be big. And there it is. All right. You may have the keys. <laughs> I'm going to take the keys of that sweet shadow cat. Uh, okay, so, guys, turn six is coming right up. Look at all this carnage and death. Uh, it's turn six, wrapping up movement here. So just four mechs on the board. The Stormcrow uh, challenging the Direwolf. Um, Direwolf being away all of his long-range weaponry. <laughs> <laughs> Direwolf is a really nice guy. Uh, decided he, he promised in this challenge he would not shoot me in extreme range. I was really thoughtful. Um, he will disable his AMS. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then the executioner just kind of swinging out um, to engage with that Grendel now that the Shadow Cat has uh, surrendered. So, Kevin, you shoot first. You want to you do the honors? Grendel firing at that executioner. Two damage, needs sixes, nothing new, just not looking great for him. Needs luck. He's got some yeah. luck, so that's two damage. two damage. That executioner, Kev, is completely stripped of armor, setting him up for the dire wolf kill. Interestingly, I didn't realize this until now, but the Grendel isn't taking any hits. The Mongrel, sorry. I like to call it the Grendel, too. But yeah. yes, the Mongrel's taken no hits. That's interesting. And he has five armor. He's very, very heavily armored for a light mech. Or a medium, I guess. But medium, but still. A nimble medium. So I can't get through his armor this turn. Because I only do four damage. Kev, that's big. No overheat? I have none. I have none. All right, let's move over to this dire wolf and see what happens. All right, that dire wolf just bringing the storm crow to the heat. So ridiculous. Like a handful of damage dice. Yeah. Three oh, fives. That's what I'm counting. Unbelievable. No critical. Nothing going on. Wow. You need fives? Yeah. Well, this is uh, this game-changing here. I see three points of damage. So that Stormcrow, <laughs> ducking and weaving, ducking and weaving. This is really interesting, though, because now that Mongrel is not going to get taken out of action. He's going to tie up that Executioner. The Mongrel could actually put the Executioner into withdrawal next turn. <laughs> I know. It's crazy. All right, the Executioner, four damage into the Mongrel. Uh, so, 
I'm trying to think here. I need two, five, seven. I need seven. See, these are not guaranteed hits with these fast, these fast moving mechs. The TMM3, it's probably why they're so costly. And the Grendel pack and five armor pips. Oh no. Whoa. Oh no. Kevin, not a single point. The executioner totally whiffed. That is unreal. Uh, game changing in your favor. Uh, Grendel so. might be the only one that walks off the field. <laughs> <laughs> Guys. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right, so we're going to move right over into this Stormcrow here. Firing into Direwolf. I got five points of damage, uh, so I need a two, three, four, five. Five points, and I need five. So here we go. Come on. All right, there it is. So five points of damage onto that Direwolf. That is meaty. Should be falling over in any other lifetime. Yeah, but that Direwolf still has armor left, but we'll see what happens. All right, guys. So turn six is a wrap, turn seven, coming right up. All right, guys, it is turn seven, right? Something like that. It's turn seven, I haven't been moving, moving so quick. Um, so only four mechs remain. Yeah, decisive round. This is a decisive round. Um, Stormcrow in short range with the Direwolf, the Grendel and the Executioner and the Dance of Death. Um, I want initiative, so Kevin, you will start shooting. Yeah. Where would you like to begin? We're going to start with the Grendel. All right. The Mongrel. If you, <laughs> the Mongrel. If you, if you land both points of damage, the Executioner. Don't put all that pressure on will me. We'll go into force withdrawal. Kevin, Stop can you handle the on me. <laughs> what do you need to hit? Is it sixes? Uh, yeah, two, four, six. It's all right, pretty much six as always. And look at that. All right, Direwolf. Unloading at short range, which is only seven damage. We assume he's got a Gauss. I think that's what he's got in there. Um, giving him a little less damage at short range, but I only need to hit with three. Uh, no, four. four. Four will put him into withdrawal. Oh, hey. Six will kill him. And what do you need to hit? No, no, no. Sorry. To, my target number is going oh, to be oh, oh. a four. That's it? Yeah, that's it. Is he skill one? Yeah. Of course. That's disgraceful. That's why I couldn't field anything but... But a dire wolf. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Look at all that dice. That's seven, right? Yeah. All right, well, all you need is four, and that ends his life. Oh, there it is. His life has ended. The storm crow goes up in smoke, so where the mongrel struggled to deliver, uh, the dire wolf comes through. So Clan Wolf, the final strike here of this storm crow, and can the executioner put some damage on that mongrel? Still can't put him into withdrawal. We'll see. True story. All right, Executioner, Mongrel, I need sevens. Four points. I got one point of damage, guys. One point of damage. So even if I land all four next turn, if I survive, it's still not enough to even get internal on the Mongrel. The Mongrel, as they say. Mongrel. <laughs> it's a French. <laughs> it's a French Omnimech. Um, okay, so, Stormcrow against the Dire Wolf. This could be painful. Five points of damage, Kev. Is any of it indirect? Uh... Or SRM? No, he's, uh, he's an ENE mech. Uh, the Prime is an ENE mech, so all energy weapons. It's a light uh, show. Also, you bit away your AMS, okay? True. So let's True just, story. Just, <laughs> um, two, three, four, I need fours as well. Here we go. Ow. No, I only, I only do four points of damage, but... That's good. Is it withdrawal, uh, crippling damage, or is it just internal? Yeah, both. Both. Mm, all right, so let's Critical see. Critical hit, Gauss, guy. rifle, destroy. Six. That's weapon. Weapon head, that's like, it's like nothing on the dire wolf. Well, if he makes his morale, could be a could be a good story here. Uh, the mongrel though could be the real hero, but it's just executioner mm -hmm. against these two. So we'll see. Kev, do you want to roll morale right now? I'm scared to, but I think I have to. All right. So let's think. He's a he's skill one though. Yeah, he's just, skill one, one just crit. Just needs a four. He needs a four. Just needs a four. Just a four. There it is. So he's still in the fight, guys. That's huge. It's huge. All right. Turn eight, I believe, is coming right up. The epic finale. 
Unless unless we roll all ones. Yeah. Uh, but I think this is it, guys. Anything's possible. The executioner facing down the mongrel, the dire wolf sprinting in to back up his uh, his smaller. Who would have thought the mongrel would be the hero? He was probably my least I, desirable. I you agree. Know. I agree. He uh, was that poor genetic, you know, klutz in the star that just <laughs> the klutz. You get the mongrel. Too. Oh my god. <laughs> the mongrel gets the mongrel. Um, but yeah, it's true. Uh, but man, uh, first of all, I, I think I said this in our in our unboxing. It is my favorite model. It's cool. Uh, it's such a cool looking match. So it's yeah. really cool to see it performing well. Um, so you lost initiative. We did have a, yet another tie. Another tie. I think we did tie twice, and then I won by one. So I don't think you've won initiative like at all. Not um, in this match. So Seriously, I don't think I'm having... You shoot first, though. This yeah. is do or die. You get two points here. Could end it. We could, could, end, end, could end it. Sixes, as always. Is Kevin two points? The Executioner in Forced Withdrawal. Crippling damage. Uh, 2d6 for the critical hit. Now, I do have that opportunity to make morale as yeah. well. Um, so it's not totally out of the fight. A nine, that's no critical. Ooh, that's the game changer right there. So I would only need a six instead of a seven. Want to fire back? I do. I do. I'm going to do it right now. Uh, I need sevens. That seems to be my lucky number. Oh, you got to be kidding me. That mongrel only has, what, two pips of damage? Yep. He's got three armor left. So guys, this is this is the critical role here. I need to make morale with my executioner. You still have a, you know, an edge chance. I, I do. It's a, I need a six. Kevin, right? So his skill two times two is four. Um, I took damage weight. I only need a five. I only need a five, right? Here we go. I get it. So the executioner is still in the fight. So we will be going to turn nine, guys. Stay tuned. The epic finale continues. The executioner hanging in with just three pips structure left that mongrel what a champ uh and then Kevin that and challenge just, that <laughs> counter challenge you made could have been like the swinging point the pride knows? the pride is my downfall uh the pride of the wolf uh and i will tell you this uh, we were just joking this dire wolf just in the background over the grendel's shoulder very daunting vision uh, <laughs> you for can the... hear the metal music getting louder and louder <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the, the Rammstein. But they are both within a hair of another withdrawal. So it's true. It's true. Anything could happen. Anything could happen. So this executioner, I do have to shoot first, firing on the mongrel. Mongrel taking cover here behind the rock, so not enough to afford him a bonus. Uh, but it is still sevens to hit, guys. So there it is, four points of damage. Now I believe that time it will go internal, right? Yeah. All right, and that will put the mongrel into withdrawal, or at least how have to test morale, but it still doesn't kill the mongrel. Mongrel's still not dead. Depending Unless on what you do here. I can roll six twice. <laughs> Only just six once. Uh, so that's a weapon hit, I believe. Uh, so that'll knock the mongrel's damage down a bit, but not before it gets a chance to retaliate. Kevin, would you like to do the honors? Sure would. As always, we're working with a six. Can you believe that? I see a one. What's behind the tree? Nothing? Nothing worthwhile. Nothing worthwhile. So the mongrel whiffs. It's big Kevin. Morale for the mongrel? It's going to need... And morale for you because you got shot at again. I did get shot at again. That is true. That is true. I'll start with mine. Okay. He's a two. Got shot at. Right. Did we say taking a hit or just getting shot at? Yeah. Well, no. Yeah. Taking a hit. Yeah. So... You are, uh, oh, you're a six. Yeah, six. Two, yeah. Six. He, well, he surrenders. Now, what about the executioner? So I didn't get shot, but I still have to test. I'm at a four. Yeah. Uh, I have, does he have a critical hit? He does not. So I just need a four here, Kev. I make it. So it looks like it's going to be executioner on direwolf. It could be total carnage. What will the dice god say? Turn 10 coming up. All right, <clears throat> the dire wolf trying to make that last stand happen. Mm -hmm. This could go both ways. He's got seven damage, surprisingly, after a weapon hit. <laughs> he still has more um, than most mechs. Yeah, so he's still working with four fives he needs. 
Yeah, that's that skill one, man. That thing is, is beastly. So that executioner, Four I see damage. five, actually I see five damage. Yeah, uh, five points. That executioner needed three uh, to be put into the grave, and so it is destroyed. Now yeah. the dire wolf likely, uh, or likewise, I should say, has three hip obstruction remaining. I have Kevin four damage at my disposal. Uh, so what do I uh, what do I need here? I need a two, three, four, five. I need fives. This is doable, guys. This is all. Kevin, it is a draw. Both of these mechs going up in just a plume of smoke. Uh, that was... <laughs> that was crazy. But... But overall... But... The only person that's actually alive here is the Grendel. Oh my goodness, that is true. That is true. So since, yeah, no, one, reason. since no one else is alive, he just lies and tells everybody... Tell he just he slowly can. powers up and backs out of it. <laughs> But then they all, wait, all those were powered down too. They all of a sudden, you know, the whole yeah, team right. activates. Um, we should have just took a final scrap. Oh my goodness. I was probably get annihilated. I, I think this was a good one. Well, I mean. That it, was a disaster of a. It was a, just a mess. A blood pit. Here we are in the outlying rural areas of the planet of Sheridan, where the Clan Wolf versus Clan Star Adder trial of possession just took place. It was, uh, it was bloody. So two stars, one after the other, in sequence, and it was just absolutely a bloodbath. Uh, Kevin Star Adders winning the day overall as they defeated Clan Wolf in the first battle, but the JV team managing <laughs> managing to pull a draw. Yeah. Uh, but the Grendel, really the, the superstar of this match. So guys, stick around. We'll talk about all of it in the After Action Report. Guys, there it is. That was 600 points, Kevin, of Zelbrigan, Zelbergergen yeah. action. 300 and 300, both. Yeah, that was really good. Although, very different stars on my part. One, the first one was rather balanced. The second one was sort of... It was cool. Different. Um, I, did, I, I had very low esteem for it in the beginning, but it ended up working out well. Yeah, I thought I was going to mop the floor with it when I issued my initial challenges. I was like, oh, you're going to waste time on my gargoyle while my summoner eats up your adder, but not the case. Um, yeah. Adder's fantastic mechs. Um, you know what? In the first game, those Timberwolves were awesome, too. Yeah. So really cool to see all these different clan mechs coming into play. Yeah. Um, I think the Stormcrow is great, but because it got to get in there, you yeah. know, it didn't have to fight until it was within range of that yeah. direwolf, where... Exactly. In the first match, the Turbo Wolf could just lay into it, and it yeah. just didn't survive long enough to get into the where its meat, you know, its meat of its damage is. And th and that's what we see. It's really it was. I thought this was a good, um, a different lens on the clan capabilities versus what we do on against the you know the Inner Sphereverse clan, and you can see why a lot of times they seem um, underpowered against the Inner Sphere, right? They like with your point with the Stormcrow, like. If you have to trek this thing across the board and the inner sphere primes it and destroys it before it gets in, that's like, you know, 60 points down the drain. Right. right? Um, the whereas, fact that, yeah, everything's a one-on-one -on -one combat right. negates any of that. Like, if you could have just cracked, did one crack shot, oops, you know, like from yeah. some other unit, you know, like, yeah. it would have, you know, you, you could totally mop the table. It's true. Um, so that last one was, I think, the more exciting of the two. Uh, that one was just an epic finish with the, yeah. you know, the executioner, the two blood behemoths, bat. you know, coming down the road, bearing down on each other, just guns blazing, both of them exploding. I'm disappointed in that Grendel, though. He, he, he started oh, off as a I hero. I wanted it for him. I wanted and it he so was bad. Just, he was getting too excited. Yeah, but... He, he missed on those last few where if he just got one of them in there. If he would have. Would have, would have. He was but, dealing with sixes all day, which, whatever, it's the best he could do. I will say, if he didn't hang in there, 
I would have been, I think it would have been my game because I would have killed him. I would have been oh, able yeah, to get yeah. him. Maybe, maybe that's not. That's what I'm saying. So he's still a hero in a, still, in a bit, still but still. He'll still get a blood name. I think that's what they get. But yeah. I think the dire wolf also whiffed on that big eight pointer against the storm crow. Against the storm crow, got like three two points. or yeah, yeah like that. and then he ate another five points of damage. That was game changing too, and it's really crazy. Like we're talking about hitting on fives and sixes, right? Like very low numbers, and we were still we were missing so much. Um, but you know that's uh, that is the luck of the dice, as they say. Um, closing thoughts on this fight. I think with a win and a draw, I think the net result is a win for Clan Star Adder. I agree. Clan Star Adder is the victor, the ultimate victor of this battle. So, sir, congratulations. It, it might have been like an entire year since I beat you, so I'm very happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you beat me in the second one, too. Um, I don't know. I feel like I got very lucky. Uh, Possibly C bill wise or whatever the <laughs> monetary unit they use, you know, like creds in there. Yeah, you know, I don't know what they do out there, out uh, there, and out there in the weirdo space. Clan I call space, it. but um, BV wise, it was balanced. It's BV just, wise, I was paying a lot for these expensive mediums and lights. Oh, you know that brings up one more thought that I will share. Skill one in the Zelbrigan rules is super important. Super important. Yeah. Way more, like, when I'm playing against Inner Sphere, I would rather do twos and threes. Yeah. To get mean, more weight of force, more weight of dice. Yeah. But in this, precision is so important because you're isolated in a bunch of one-on-one -on -one fights. That's skill one. That's why those adders did so good, I yeah. think. Because um, you can't, you know, you're not allowed to do anything dishonorable. You're not allowed to hide right. behind cover. Or, right outnumber someone so it's basically you need every statistical advantage you can get it's even true. if it's just 10 percent. yeah and i mean and, it, and it's so worth it and i think it was really really good list building um to upgrade both the adders because they're so well called we talk about it yeah. every week i feel like i'm like an adder fanboy they're so well costed and the, the, you know the the percentage bump to get them to skill one is much less on them than it would be on you know your dial yeah. for example so really really good job there um but yeah, Oddly man. enough, it's not power gaming. It was just adders just felt right with adder. You know, I believe they designed it. Yeah. I felt like they should have a dozen of them I, just sitting in the yeah. hangar. I got another one on the paint bench uh, for Clan Wolf. <laughs> uh, it's it's getting there. So, you know, uh, I, expect, I expect a star of them next time. <laughs> <laughs> just like, what? <laughs> All the star gargoyles. Oh yeah, seriously. I mean, they were the <laughs> under, that I think gargoyles on both sides were underperforming. It seems. You know, I, I think in an inner sphere fight, they're helpful because it's a lot of just dense armor to puncture. They're fast, sure. you know. But in a 1v1, it's like, you know, there's no... You can't be smart with them. You can't maneuver with them. Yeah, th there's no nothing dishonorable about calling it out with an assault. And it's just, I could just lay back and, and melt it. You <laughs> like, <know>? like, <laughs> Clan Pipes are like, thank God they brought a gargoyle. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they're all fighting over who gets to fight yeah. the gargoyle. <laughs> That's a shame. There is a couple. There's one variant. I think maybe the A gargoyle. It's got like overheat three and like it's just it's a it's an absolute monster. I think it's all it's ERPP seasoning, it's all energy weapons. Um, that's really good, but it's really expensive. Yeah. You know. And what was so, the, what's the summoner's PV base? Yeah, I don't dude. know off the top of my head, um, but it's good. I think it's like low forties um, for the summoner A. So I think so, that was one of the one heroes that at Adder. The, the Viper, I mean, he should have had the advantage right. there. Right. Oh, the city, um, you did so good against the Summoner. But the so Summoner, sorry. I think, was another one where if that Summoner stuck around, that could have caused a lot of problems. I thought I was going to sweep... Uh, I thought the Viper was going to lose but do enough damage, and I thought the Summoner would was gonna, would clean up. Yeah, didn't happen. Didn't happen, guys. Um, but yeah, so that wraps up the very first... Clan uh, Clan. Clan v Clan battle for it. Trial of something. They, they fought over possession. like a toy factory, preparing for Clan Christmas. <laughs> Clan holidays. Saint, Saint, you know, Nicholas Kerensky. <laughs> this is going somewhere. Brings the toys. This is going know, somewhere. Brings everyone a gun for Christmas. Uh, an urban Mac plushie. <laughs> Great job on the paintwork, by the way, on those adders. I've said it once, twice. Likewise. I know time. brown's not sexy, but it's... I think they came out pretty good. I, I like the looks cockpits. Good. I like the know? white arms with the brown. Yeah, I, I like the theta scheme too, but thank you. Um, so guys, hope you enjoyed this one. A couple, uh, couple of exciting things. First of all, tonight, go online, go to our Teespring site. It's in the description below. We have just released a brand new t-shirt. Kevin, what does it say on it? Well bargained and done. 
it's gonna say well bargained and done. Why not, guys? Get yourself a well bargained and done t-shirt uh, on our Teespring site. Uh, you'll see the link below, very, very good. Um, and then also, guys, if you want some actual um, mechs, Ares games and minis, it has got it all. Some really, really great stuff over there. Um, all of the stars and Lance packs are at a great price, really discounted. Um, and he, like I said, on social media, uh, he was talking about selling singles. So keep your eyes out for those. Because I remember when he did that with the um, the box set, the Game of Armored Combat box set, and they were like gone in like a week, you know, like just like a day, I think everybody bought them up. Um, so keep your eyes out for that. Um, and then my star of adders, obviously, because that's I'll, I'll buy all of the adders that he has. Um, the other thing I wanted to bring up, guys, um, X Marks. If you have got lots of comments, questions, where you buy your terrain, two places that I highly recommend. One is X Marks, makes really high quality resin scattered terrain. So you saw the fuel tanks. Um, we have all their terrain. You know, every week there's some X Marks stuff on my table. Um, paints really well, um, really great to work with. Some really cool stuff, great designs. Um, and then Hardware Studios. Uh, guys, this stuff is phenomenal. You're going to be seeing it real soon on the channel. Uh, I just. Painting. Yeah, yeah, I just bought a mother load of it. Um, really great stuff. Thanks to Dale over at Hardware Studios. Uh, hooked me up with some some extra goodies as well. So can't wait to, to get that on the table. This is gonna this is gonna elevate our uh, our urban combat. So, I got a whole host of buildings I need to paint as well. We could really go full on urban. Just like a forty eight by forty eight urban. Oh yeah. Oh, I love it. It's I gotta, love it, Kevin. It's gotta happen at least once. Need to buy more roads. I mean, we'll probably spend most of the time knocking over buildings and picking them back up. <laughs> Our elbows we'll get like little step forms. ladders so we can see down between Tom the buildings. Tom bumping the table and uh, knocking over all the billboards. Can't do it when Tom's here. This is a be you and me battle report. But it will be fun. Imagine a city this size, the whole thing just be so epic, dense, so epic. We're gonna need the cyberpunk like the, urban, the, the, like the poker. You know, the, the, yeah. the you know what I'm talking they about. The strategic the, war table, like yeah. you know. They, yeah, exactly. We'll have to go on Amazon. I'm sure they have them. Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Uh, just got to click the button, give us a like, leave a comment, let us know what you thought. Uh, also, if you'd like to become a patron, guys, you can check us out on Patreon. Uh, lots of great perks there. Uh, get in on some uh, some conversations, uh, get in polls, some sneak peeks, all sorts of great stuff. Helps um, steer the direction of the channel. Absolutely. Absolutely. Something you want to see, a specific matchup. We have all sorts of great challenges as well uh, where you can win some, some cool prizes. So uh, that's it. Any, any uh, final closing thoughts, Kevin? Well bargained and done. Well bargained and done. <laughs> Get your t-shirt, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great night. And of course, stay tuned. Always great stuff from Death From Above Wargaming.